how to dress expensive. And no, I'm not talking about dressing in a way so that every gold digger within a mile is running to jump on your lap. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the guy that wants to walk in a room and be classically elegant. He wants to walk in a room and people notice, wow, that guy's got style. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. You're going to enjoy this video. Number one on this list, gentlemen, make sure your clothing fits you. You've heard me say this before, know the name of your tailor. I may sound like a broken record, but so many of you guys take, maybe you take your suits to get them adjusted because it's free when you buy the suit, not tech, not really, they actually build it into the price, but you get it done and you get it done once. No, you wanna get your suits adjusted to fit you every year because your body is changing. That suit, especially if it's gathering dust, you wanna pull it off, check it, see, see how it fits you, and then get it adjusted to fit you even better. Now, that's where a lot of the boys, you know, focus in on, but the men, we focus in on our casual clothing. So you take that casual button down, you take the simple white dress shirt, you get the sleeve shortened, you get maybe it brought in a little bit of darts in on the back. You get these small adjustments, which make a huge difference. And when you walk into a room, even though it may be an inexpensive suit that you got on sale, people are like, wow, that suit, that looks like a $2,000 suit. That's what you're shooting for guys. Perfect fit and understand it's a moving target because your body is changing. So make sure to get your clothing adjusted again and again. Pop quiz guys, which one of these looks more expensive? Both of these are jackets I love, I wear, but I can tell you that one, instantly to me looks dressier. It looks like it's going to cost more money. Why? Because it's simpler. Because when you look at it, it just looks more elegant. And that is one of the key points of elegance is simplicity at its core. You don't have things added on for just having them there. Yes, I love this jacket. It's functional. It's got the pockets on it, but do I ever use the pockets? Pretty much no. Now, uh, it's got a hood, but the hood's got this oversized zipper on it. This zipper is actually hidden out of the way, so this is very functional. Those small differences make a huge difference. So when you're looking at clothing, don't go for something that's got crazy pockets, contrast stitching, uh, maybe a loud design. You want something that is timeless, that is elegant, that is simple in design. Pop quiz number two, which jacket looks more expensive? Can you figure it out? Again, over here, why? Okay, we've got the simplicity, but look at that fabric. This one is actually using a suede and the color. This isn't something that you see every day. You know that you're not gonna walk into most stores and be able to find a jacket like this. This jacket, I love it, but the contrast stitching on it, one, makes it non-simple, but other than that, it's a dark brown leather moto jacket, something that we've seen many times, and because of the uniqueness of the fabric, the material used, this one is going to appear more expensive. Pop quiz, gentlemen, which wrist looks more expensive? The left, the right, the left, the right? Which one, which one? <laughs> okay, that's it, I'm just joking here, but I do wanna bring in the paid sponsor of today's video, Vincero. Guys, go check out their watches. Now, I've talked before about the watch you wear and how people can instantly say, hey, this guy's got a special relationship with time, he loves a good looking watch, and that's what Vincero's created at a fraction of the price that you would expect for a watch that looks this beautiful. Guys, don't believe me? Go check them out. I'm linking to them down in the description, but let me pull up some of their collections. Go through, look at that Bellwether collection. This has got to be one of my favorites. It's one of their newer collections and I just love the look. It's got two complications. The watch that I've currently got on is going to be the silver and the white, but I also have the blue steel right here. Look at this thing. This is a beautiful watch and I love how the, the bands are actually interchangeable so I can go from the steel, I can go with the blue leather depending on whatever I want to wear. The next collection I want you guys to go check out is the Chrono Collection. Now I've got a couple of these watches as well and I love them. They've got the three complications, the working chronograph, just beautiful watches. Finally, gents, I want you to go check out their automatic watches. This is something a lot of you guys have asked for. They've got it. Look at the various watches they've got here. Look at that beautiful rose gold. Wouldn't that look good on your wrist? Or maybe you want to go with the white rose gold. This one right here, I think actually would suit me simply because I'm more of a silver guy, but I find that I do like a little bit of gold. That just great looking Italian leather band. I mean, these are great looking watches, guys. All right, gents, I got a couple extra watches here in the office. I would love to send your way. This is the way it works. You got to click on the link down in the description. 
go explore Vincero. Choose the watch that you would love to have me send your way. Tell me exactly the type of watch, what you're going to wear it with, how when you wear it, you're going to feel more confident and how you're going to look. That's what I want to hear. And if you just want to grab a watch because you want to send it out as a gift to your dad, maybe to your brother, maybe to yourself this holiday season, use that discount code. I'm putting it right down there. It's not going to be around forever. It's a cute, it's a good size discount guys. Go take advantage. Great company. I've received compliments on this watch. I know that you will go check them out. Pop quiz number three, which of these shirts looks more expensive? Now, both of these shirts are custom. Both of these shirts have white with blue, but one of them looks to me more like more classic, more refined, something that yeah, would be more expensive. What do you think? This shirt right here. Why? Because of the smaller pattern, the more classic pattern. Now, this one right here is close. And in fact, if the stripe was just a little bit thinner, if it didn't have a subtle twill pattern in it, when I looked at this fabric itself, I thought this would make a great shirt. But when I had the shirt made, I realized the pattern was too large. They shouldn't have actually put that twill in there and it just was way too overpowering. So, be careful of wearing patterns that are too overpowering. Too large of a pattern is basically going to make the shirt, going to make whatever you're wearing basically look, eh, make it look cheap, make it look non-luxury. Pop quiz number four, gentlemen, which shirt appears more expensive? Focus here on the color. Focus on the richness of the color, the attention to detail, the deepness of the hues. This shirt right here appears more expensive. Now, it's also more simple. This one has embroidery on it and therefore, it becomes much more casual. This is something with, yeah, it just feels, but the color, it's basically been washed out. Now, this came with a faded overall look, but understand, color is going to have a big effect. So, darker colors, colors with actually a deeper hue. Now, I'm not counting white, especially in formal wear, but darker colors like this that have just a deep, rich hue to them, they, they just, there's something about them that signals elegance. Pop quiz number five, gentlemen, which one looks more expensive? What do you think? This one's a hard one, right? And I'm going to call it, I'm just going to say this is a tie. It's hard to, because each of these have unique aspects, which make them a little bit more elegant. So, this one right here, one, it's a full suit. You can probably see the trousers right in there. And it's also got a classic, it's a, you know, gray with a little bit of blue in there. It's got the pinstripe in there with the peak lapels. It's a great looking suit. I love it. Now, this one over here, what's interesting about it is it's got a unique pattern. And overall, look at that. You notice that inner lining, how bright, how colorful that is. The high notch lapel, you got a little bit of contrast stitching in there, a little bit of purple. Uh, it's got, a, you know, it's nice two buttons. It's got an extra pocket, right? Ticket pocket there over on the right. Notice that just above. Small details like this, you can have fun with and I think notch up the value in the overall look of the clothing. So, what do you think about this, guys? You think this was expensive? Do you think it was inexpensive? So, it is a navy blue trench coat. I can tell you this is a very expensive trench coat. It's actually custom made and the power is in what it is. It's a trench coat. It's a classic menswear piece that has actually become very difficult to find. In fact, this piece right here, like I said, I had to have this actually custom made. Now, what does that mean? Whenever you're going with something classic, you're going with something that's been around for a long time, the advantage to that is that you know it's not going to go out of style. Go back to World War I. That's where the trench coat became really popular. The key point here is when you go with the classics. You go with something that is going to help you stand apart and you focus on everything else I just talked about. This right here. I mean, there's nothing amazing about the fabric. This is something you've probably seen many times, but I can tell you that this jacket fits me amazingly well. It's also got some unique features. Again, this was another custom job and it buttons all the way up so it fully covers up here and covers my neck. It works great, but the fit, it actually fits me very well in and around the torso area so it gives a slim overall cut. And you don't see this very often. Oftentimes, jackets are just going to be overly built. So, all the details I just talked about in today's video. It's not about one of them. It's about you applying all of them so that when you put it all together, instantly you walk into a room and people are like, hey, who is that guy? He looks amazing. He looks elegant. He has style and that's what we're shooting for. So, guys, let me know what you thought about this video. Down in the comments, I love hearing from you. What would you have added? What did I miss? What did you think about the comparison, the way I did that? I thought it was kind of fun and go check out Vincero. Guys, I'm linking to him down in the description. I've got an awesome discount code for you. It's not going to be around forever. Use it or lose it. Go check out their website. I'm linking to it again down in the description and over on their website, let me know in the comments 
which watch would look great on you? Is something that's going to get compliments? I, I just love this company. I met one of you guys in New York. You had a Vincero watch and you showed me like Antonio. I love it. I'm getting compliments on it. So things like that really motivate me. And uh, that's it, guys. Take care. I appreciate you. I appreciate the audience we build here at Real Men Real Sell. Take care. See you in the next video.